Hello everyone, Ronnie J here from InternetRadioStation.com. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to integrate uh, Twitter into your Internet Radio Station. To give you an example of how this is uh, done, if we go to my website at uh, RipRadio.com, and if we come down to the bottom of the page, you'll see I have some social media links here, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. If I click on the Twitter icon, it takes me to my Twitter account. And if you look over here, these are all the tweets. In other words, each and every time a song is played from my sound broadcaster, it is tweeted to Twitter. As you can see here, I have many, many tweets here. Many, because each song is tweeted to Twitter. Now, how do you do that? Well, I'm a big fan of uh, WordPress, the content management system. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it using WordPress. And then in another video, I'm going to show you how to do it uh, if you're not using WordPress. All right, let's, uh, let's do it. So the first thing that you want to do is create your Twitter account. And when you create your Twitter account, you're going to get a Twitter hashtag. This is uh, my Twitter account name, Rip Radio Jazz. So you'll get something like that when you create your account, and you will need that to set this up. Your next step is to log into your WordPress account, and I'm going to do mine now. I'm logged into my WordPress dashboard, and I'm going to go to Plugins, then Add New. And I'm going to search for a plugin called Social Crowd. And it will come up here, uh, number one, and then you want to click the install button. Now, on my installation, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it. Once it's installed and you have activated it within WordPress, then you want to come down to Settings, Social Crowd. And in here, on my particular installation, I have a Facebook account set up, Twitter and YouTube. So when you initially do yours, uh, you won't have any of this here set up yet. But you want to go ahead and tick on the button that says Twitter and, have, and activate that. Then here, you want to enter in your Twitter ID. In my case, it's Rip Radio Jazz. Then you click the Save button. Once you've done that, then you can come to Appearance and Widgets. And uh, if I take you back to my website, notice that uh, at the very bottom that I'm showing the icons here. In this example, the Twitter icon. So you want to display that. So to do that, you'll go to, again, Appearance, Widgets, and it'll take you to this area here. Then I placed mine right here. So what you're going to be doing here, you're going to be looking over to the left-hand side here, and you're going to find that Social Crowd widget. And it will be listed here. You will take that and drag it up to that area. And I've already done it. You're going to drag it in here. Then pull it down, and that's on this particular theme. Your theme will be different. You can give your widget a title, and you can choose the particular types of icons that you'd like to appear. In my example, I'm using the pie icons that are inverted. That's what these are. And my layout is vertical. And I want to display the Twitter stats. I have all of mine checked. I have display Facebook stats display Twitter stats, display YouTube stats. That's what I make sure you have those checked. Come down to the bottom and uh, I like to always use the default styling. I untick this button that says display credit link and then do a save and that's it. So when your listeners come to your website, they can click on this Twitter link. They can see all the songs that are playing because they will have been automatically tweeted to your Twitter account. And that's it. Again, in another video, I'll show you how to set this up using a non WordPress installation. This is Ronnie J. Thank you for listening.